you or Mr. Cameron? Uh, I was born in, in Murcia 31 years ago. So I started to play football at the age of uh, six years old. And after I had a bad injury in my knee, got a cruciate ligament uh, rupture, I started my coaching career at the age of 17. Uh, then I got the coaching license and moved to a third division club in Spain. After that, I got a call from Malaga to join them as a match analyst. So I moved there. We were working for two years and a half where we achieved uh, with a Champions League. We were uh, eliminated by Borussia Dortmund in quarterfinals in 2012, I think. And then uh, after Pellegrini moved to Man City, uh, I became uh, the head of recruitment of the, of the club. After one year, I left and moved to, to Germany for living. And while I was there, I got a call from Tottenham, so I moved to Tottenham. Then I was back to Spain again to work for Betis Seville. After one, one year, I was back to England again to work for Leicester City. Uh, we stayed there for two years and a half, more or less. And then I moved to France yeah, to work in Girondin Bordeaux. So I left Girondin uh, in December. 2020 and I was more or less during one year working for different football clubs as an advisor after I got the, I got the call from from ECA to move to to Dainsey. Yeah, when I got the first call from ECA it was a very nice call where they explained to me the, the whole project so I decided to come here because of the ambition of the project they trust me a lot so I think it was, uh, it was a very good idea to move here. Uh, the, the club is fantastic, very nice and fear from the, from the supporters. The city is amazing. And, you know, people from the staff, people, employees of the club are very, very nice. So we are very, very happy to be here. Yeah, for the moment, uh, we are still analyzing the whole, the whole club because we have to build a big strategy so on the first uh, way, we are analyzing the first team, trying to make decision on the player, to, to establish a strong foundation, to perform consistently in the next few years, and then be ready to promote to the third division and achieve uh, better goals in the next few years. That put Dense in the, in the map, in the European football map. When you are building a, a team, you have to make a, a balance between the local people and player who knows the league and the foreign people that can improve the talent that we have at the moment in, in our sport. So we have to work in that, in that, in that two ways, know, knowing the, the local market and bringing foreign talent to improve uh, the whole performance of the sport. Yeah, for us, uh, the academy is one of the most important things. That's why our strategy is not only focused on the first team, it's solely focused in the, in the academy. We are investing a big money also in our academy to improve the talent, improve the technical staff, improve the equipment, facilities, etc. Because we want to give them all our best to, to create the best context to promote that to the first, to the first team. For the moment, we are building, as you said, a big scouting strategy, also a scouting team. And, you know, we try to sign people from different, different countries who know different markets to be able to control the, the whole Europe. So, we, first of all, we brought here our scouting coordinator, it's Alvaro Lopez. He came from uh, one of the best companies in terms of uh, data analysis, which is Visoka. You know, he will be the scouting coordinator, so he will be centralizing all the formation coming from the different scout who are based around the, around the world. So then Juan Carlos Valdivia joined us. He's uh, 55 years old. Yeah, previously, he worked for FC Malaga as a coach and then as a scout. And then he moved to England to work for West Ham United. So it's fantastic that we are having here. 
this this scout because he knows very well the the South European market. Then uh, Michel Beuke, coming from uh, Rotterdam, he has been working the last 30 years in Feyeno, uh, 30 years in the football department, the last 20 as uh, chief of uh, scouting. So also it's a very big uh, signing for us because he controlled the uh, value in Netherlands and, uh, and the German market in a very good way. Uh, also we have uh, Kurt and he has been working here for one year close to the, to the coach. He has a very very good knowledge of the local market so it's also, it's also a very very good uh, scout for us. And then we have uh, Klaas also working in the class uh, for one year and you know another fantastic guy who knows also uh, the market, the local market in a very very good uh, way. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you for uh, their support to Chemist Cadence during this season and I hope to see the, all of them next year close to the team because I think all together we can achieve a fantastic result that make the team to reach the first uh, league, the Pro League and then achieve uh, better goals in terms of uh, qualify for European competition or other goals that we establish in the, in the club.